Hey, I'm Lee Ramsdale, Mongoose Bikes team manager, and we decided to bring out some riders to try out the 2021 completes, and to make a road trip out of it, check out what North Carolina has to offer. And also, to welcome Mikel Laren to the team. such an honor being able to join the Mongoose team, especially coming on the trip for the first time. Like, I've been a fan since I was younger, man. Like, Mongoose was always a staple in my community growing up. We always used to say, whipping the goose down the street. Now, to be able to be on the team and just having that nostalgia for me is, is something that really, you know, kind of strikes to my core. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's an honor, man. Having Michael on the team is so sick. Like, he really just fit right in, jumped on the team, and as if he'd always been there. Michael in general, you know, on and off the bike's an incredible person, you know. He's super well-spoken, super kind. If there's any other person, you know, in the world that deserves to be put on the team, it's Michael. Um, I think having Michael join the Mongoose team is honestly a perfect fit. I don't know, he's such a great all-around rider and such an inspiring person that it's just cool to hang out with him. Rolling up to Whip Snake was a pretty surreal experience. Yeah, going to Whip Snake for the first time was crazy. It's literally in the middle of nowhere, and then you pull into a forest. You just pull up to this crazy DIY bowl that is like nothing I've ever ridden before. Places like this really exist. It's like a video game. Wow, man, Whip Snake. I don't know if I, <laughs> I don't know if I have any words for Whip Snake. It's out of a video game, you know. It's like something you dream that you don't ever think is real. It's real, almost like Disneyland. You know, when you're, you show up, you don't know where to start. You know, it's the same thing there. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, to be honest. I think it just caters to that uniqueness and thinking outside the box. So hats off to having us out there, man. That was amazing. Yeah, just pumped, man. Bringing Charlotte, kicking it with the Mongoose team. Super stoked to come on board, and it's great, man. We showed up to this DYI spot it's early in the morning, and very unique, man. So it's been it's been good. So we got to ride the Goat Pen Skate Park, which was another private park that was just kind of off in the woods. Yeah, the McKeon compound is awesome. They have the satellite dish out front, and then a big garage with a mini ramp inside, the full concrete bowl that they're building themselves. That's actually like, if you look at all the trannies and everything, it's done perfect, it's insane. Goat Pen was super sick. had the Mongoose satellite there, which was really cool to ride. First time I ever got to ride that, and it was like the most perfect transition I've ever felt. There was one moment where Nikita was charging from the grass, got on the concrete, and just head down, pedaling at this satellite dish and roasting out the top of it. I was completely obsessed with the satellite dish. That's my first one ever, so. I'd only ever seen it in videos and in, and in photos that Lee had ever posted, so it was just cool to play on that, man. It was just a good vibe, you know, good music, good people.
The Hangar Skate Park was really cool. It gave uh, the old school feel, like skate parks that I watched growing up as a kid. I haven't been to many plywood skate parks that are around still. Big, big wall ride, big vert wall, you know. I hadn't sweat like that in so long, you know, but I couldn't stop riding, it was too much fun. So going to the Hangar Skate Park, honestly, made me feel like home. Uh, I had a really cool Midwest vibe going on, and I love the plywood ramps. The floor's a little slick. I felt like I was a kid again, and, and just seeing the stuff that was going down, and like, it just, the energy was great in that space. So there's this big transfer in the hangar skate park. And I saw Michael riding up to it a few times, wasn't sure, and then all of a sudden he just comes pedaling around hits it and does a huge downside whip. One of the things he just does, you're not really expecting it, and then just boom, perfectly executed, feet straight back to the pedals. Chia. Thanks, Doc. Woo! Chia. Yo. That was okay. Up. Yeah, and then we got to check out the Durham Park this morning and kind of street. Kevin kills it as always, and everyone got like one or two clips. Kevin got 10. It was fun. One feature that really caught my attention was this like little MW thing that was in the middle of the park. Yeah, so I've ridden Skate Carry before, so it's really cool to come back. Skate Carry is really cool. It's like nice outdoor park. Just fun for everyone to ride and nice to be outdoors riding. Yeah, shotgun trails are super sick. Being out here, riding them, just having a good session with the guys is super awesome. So many jumps, you have, you really kind of have to take a moment when you get here and just figure out where the lines are going. Definitely sat up top for a minute. I was a little intimidated to drop in, but they feel so nice and it's so much fun. Shotgun Trails was actually my first set of legit trails in the forest. Yeah, I think it was really awesome wrapping the uh, trip up at the trails, just getting to hang out with everyone and go through ride jumps through the trees and stuff, and just really good vibe. I thought all the jumps were sick, but those last two were real fun and poppy and just fun to keep session in. Nothing but good times. It was super refreshing and super exciting for me to come on this trip. Gets me super motivated and super happy to continue riding harder and harder daily. It's, honestly, yeah, I can't wait to meet up with the rest of the team and do this all over again. Thank you guys again.